Hello guys, greetings, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to Vinyl TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I want to do this video to support the nursing student out there. So uh, it's, it's kind of giving back, really, you know, supporting the nursing students who are going through their training. I'm a staff nurse in prof by profession. So I want to sh explain to you that kind of um, this is a uh, you might come across in your training or in your practice about calculating fluid balance chart you know you might come across patient who need support with diet and fluid you know who need support with their nutritional intake so as a nurse or as a student nurse you need to monitor consultant might ask you or the ward system might ask you please calculate the fluid balance charge for individ this individual so to do this you need to be able to know maybe fluid balance chart in 24 hours so i want to show you sort of questions you might ask or you might come across you know that um, so this is a um, nursing nursing calculations so what we are going to do is calculating you know fluid balance chart but also uh, calculating you know the output as well for you to see whether it's positive or negative balance okay so you might be asked to calculate a fluid balance chart for vinyl whereby in 24 hours okay so they will ask you sort of this kind of information vinyl takes the following okay fluid let's say at different time eight o'clock okay cough you know 200 meals coffee at nine o'clock 100 meals tea 10 o'clock Okay, 10 o'clock, 200 ml orange juice. Okay, then 11 o'clock, 100 ml tea. Yeah, then 12 o'clock, another 300 meals coffee yeah now so eight nine ten eleven twelve okay you they can do this till you know um so we have one two three Four PM, five PM, six PM, seven PM, eight PM, nine PM, ten PM, twenty, eleven PM, and midnight. Okay, so they will ask you to calculate this. So they might also give you different units what vinyl took within that 24 hours. So I can also carry on doing this. Okay. What you need to do is to add everything together. So you need to add everything together. Okay. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Let's say till one o'clock as well. I'll make it six. 
okay uh this place is another uh 200 males um water h2o we need to calculate the total in 24 hours so what we need to do is okay the first one is 200 200 plus the next one is 100 the next one is 200 the next one is 100 the next one is 300 the next drink vinyl had is 200 point two three four five six so the total in 24 hours is what we're going to what we're going to find so from this section you can see here is zero the next column is zero so we go from two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven So the total fluid vinyl had is 1,100 males. Yeah, this is the total fluid vinyl had in 24 hours. In 24 hours. Okay, this is the total fluid vinyl had in 24 hours. 1,200 males. Now, the other thing you might be asked is, you know, they also give you the output. So this is input. This is intake. Intake. Or you can call it input. Okay. Now we need to calculate the output. Okay. So this section is the output. So at this 8 o'clock, he we now pee okay he went to the toilet and pee 100 males of urine okay nine o'clock maybe 100 male vomit 10 o'clock 200 males urine yeah these are all examples just to show you what you, you need to uh, bear in mind also to calculate then 11 o'clock okay 50 males sweat sweat okay then 12 o'clock 100 male urine now one o'clock one o'clock is 150 male urine so all these are output they may ask you to calculate the balance to see whether vena is on positive balance or negative balance so what we need to do is right we add everything together okay so 100 another 100 another 200 50 100 and 150 1 2 3 4 5 6 so add everything together okay add everything together we have zero here so this is 100 200 400 450 550 650 so this is 700 700 males vinyl uh, output vinyl's output is output is 700 males so vinyl output is 700 males now what we need to do is to check if vinyl is in positive balance or negative balance so we what we need to do is to the input is 1100 mils in 24 hours okay in 24 hours so what we need to do is subtract 1100 
100 mils minus, minus 700 mils okay that will give us the balance that will give us the balance so 1100 minus 700 a thousand minus seven hundred, it remains three hundred plus another hundred, which is four hundred. So this is plus four hundred mils. So vinyl is in positive balance, plus four hundred mils. So in your training, you might come across this kind of question, where they want you to do calculate fluid balance chart. So what you need to understand is. Calculate everything all together in 24 hours, then calculate all the negative or all the output in 24 hours and subtract. Now, Vina is in positive balance, okay, which means he still got some water in his system, his body, but some people will have negative balance. In that case, you might need to support that person by giving him IV fluid or replacing the liquid or encourage her to give him or her more drink it is something that you know um, as a nursing student as a nursing staff we come across these kind of questions you know in nursing practice so i thought to show you or share with you how you can calculate fluid balance chart you know vena is in positive balance at the moment but some patient might be in negative balance so whereby you need to replenish uh, his or her drink by giving him iv fluid yeah or encouraging um, fluid intake or uh, for you to put him on or her in fluid balance chart okay so this is kind of question you might come across guys um, thank you very much for stopping by i thought to share this with you uh this question is you know if you in your practice you can see someone who is dehydrated or someone who is not taking uh due to deterioration in mental state or you know, um, or being unwell really, or or poor physical health. You know, you just need to encourage the person by making making sure that in that individual ha, uh, has a fluid, you know, uh, chart and you know uh, that food and fluid chart. Okay, so and uh, monitor what that person is eating in 24 hours for you to be able to make decision for doctors to be able to make a decision. So we tend to have this, especially uh, in elderly care, not only in elderly care, you can also have it in mental health unit, you can have it in general hospital, whereby someone is on IV fluid, you know, so you monitor the input and output all the time. So guys, I thought to share this with you, how to calculate the fluid intake, you know, of a person, also the output for you to know whether that person is in positive balance or negative balance. If that person is in negative balance, then, the doctor can make a decision maybe to give that person IV fluid okay so um, this is one thing I, I thought to share with you you know for you to be uh, mindful of this you know how to calculate uh, fluid chart okay thank you very much guys thank you very much for stopping by I appreciate you if you like what I'm about if you like this video if you want more video or any question you want to ask in terms of your nursing training I'm here to support you. Thank you very much and don't be overwhelmed. Thanks.